Thank you so much, Chair. And um, Ganson, I'm, I'm afraid the kids in Africa and America won't be safe, <laughs> given your conjecture about Google. Um, it's really a pleasure to welcome all of you here on behalf of the University of Stellenbosch. Uh, I'd also like to say a special welcome to some invited guests and keynote speakers. On my list, I see Adam Habib. I can't really see Adam, but I'm sure if he was here, we would have heard him. Um, but um, welcome to Adam in, in, his, in his absence. Uh, Professor Jagada, to you, and um, also Michelle Kimpton, who is the Chief Executive Officer of Eurospace. Um, I don't know whether Michelle is here, but uh, she's on my notes at least. Uh, we're one of the hosts of this conference, um, and we're dedicated at our university to promoting the adoption, the creation, the use, the dissemination, and the preservation of electronic theses and dissertations, as well as all other elements of our research output. One of the strategic goals of our university is, in fact, to share the research output uh, with the rest of the colleagues from Africa and the world. And it's therefore fitting that we play a hosting role at this conference. Now, institutional repositories for theses will add uh, to the development of, I think, systems and policies that will encourage and enforce open access practices. I must confess unashamedly that I am an open access advocate, and at Stellenbosch University we pursue all possible opportunities to engage in open access activities. As an institution, as I said, we committed to sharing our data with the rest of the world. And um, we've in fact uh, set up a repository which is growing exponentially. Uh, like most universities, uh, it started out for us to capture and to organize and to disseminate theses and dissertations. But this repository has grown significantly over the past few years and now includes a range of other material, published journal articles, etc., etc. Now, the institution's commitment to dissemination of uh, our research outputs is part of my responsibility as the vice, vice rector of research. And this commitment is demonstrated by the fact that we at Stellenbosch University was the first African institution to sign the Berlin Declaration on Open Access to Knowledge <coughs> in the Sciences and Humanities. I believe um, that uh, there are quite a few other South African and African institutions that will be following. We've taken the lead in this domain um, and we'll continue to push the boundaries in our quest to leave a scientific footprint on the continent through making knowledge accessible openly. As part of the uh, pursuing the institution's open access agenda, we've also become the first institution in South Africa to offer our academic staff the opportunity to publish their research output in journals using an open source publishing platform. And in the spirit of openly sharing uh, information with the minimum cost to the end user, we've developed project at the library with institutional funding to at this stage convert 10 titles from hard copy to digital copy using the open source software called OJS, Open Journal Software. And we're planning to launch these 10 titles with two more, one being uh, incidentally a title from Zambia, during our open access seminar which we'll be holding on the 26th of October this year. Now in publishing these titles, via open journal source, open journal um, systems, these titles will become available to anyone who has access to the internet. Um, and it's significant that local issues um, will be dealt with by local academics and it will become accessible to those who need it most, and those are our colleagues on, on the rest of the continent. Also by changing these titles from a paper to a digital format, we will immediately uh, disseminate the local tit titles to as broad a po as, as possible an audience of international academics. And already we've seen with these titles that have gone online an exponential interest in the work we're doing. Uh, these initiatives 
uh, play a significant strategic role within the university's quest of broadening the knowledge base through uh, sharing of data. Now, these are conferences like these are ideal platforms to network and to learn from those who have already traveled the road. Institutional repositories, as I believe, are on the agenda of most academic institutions, and we can learn from each other uh, in our quest to share a research output. <coughs> Finally, I'd like to wish you well in your deliberations over the next two to three days, and I'd also like to take this opportunity to pre-welcome those delegates who will be attending the DSpace workshop that will be held in our library in Stellenbosch on this coming Friday. Thank you very much.